Wandering through the winding cobblestone streets of Portugal's colorful capital, it's easy to fall in love with Lisbon. While you're lounging in a leafy plaza and sipping the world-class local wine, as you overlook the Atlantic, you'll decide that you never want to leave. With a rich history and fascinating culture, he could spend a lifetime discovering the wonders of this unique Red Roof city. In this video, you'll see some of what we saw, did and ate in this beautiful city during our three days stay. Let's go! Blue tiles and cobbled streets are probably the most iconic features of Portugal and can easily be explored by throwing on your comfy shoes and simply getting lost in the winding streets of the old town. You'll probably stumble into some of the Lisbon's most famous sites and hidden gems by accident, like Miradora de São Pedro de Alcântara, a popular viewpoint in Lisbon that offers a breathtaking panoramic views of the city. It's surrounded by lush trees and features a beautiful fountain, several souvenir shops and small restaurants. Located in the heart of the city, the place provides a perfect escape from the hustle and bustle of Lisbon's vibrant streets. As you walk down the inclined narrow streets toward downtown, you should stop by at one of the many traditional taverns on your way to try a shot of Ginginha, a famous cherry liquor and popular traditional drink in Portugal. Cheers! Rua de Santa Justa is a popular street located in the heart of Lisbon historic district. It is famous for its stunning architecture, charming shops and bustling atmosphere. The street is named after the iconic Santa Justa lift, a neo-gothic structure that stands at 45 meters tall, with two towers connected by a metal bridge and a viewpoint platform located at the top, which offers stunning panoramic views of Lisbon. The street itself is a pedestrian-only zone, and along the way you'll find a lot of tempting traditional foods to taste, including pastel de nata. Pastel de nata is a delicious Portuguese pastry that has become famous around the world. It's a small, creamy custard tart that is typically eaten for breakfast or as a snack. Also, pastel de bacla, a traditional Portuguese snack or appetizer which is made of salt, cod, potatoes, onions, eggs and pastry. It is a deep-fried pastry that is similar to shape of croquette. While Rua de Santa Justa is known more for its stunning architecture, charming shops and bustling atmosphere during the day, it has also a lively nightlife which is worth a visit. Right at the end of the street, you will see the most iconic monument of the city, Arco da Roa Augusta. It's a triumphal arc that was built to commemorate the rebuilding of the city after the devastating 1755th earthquake and to celebrate the Portuguese golden age of discovery. The monument leads you to Paraca do Comercia, a large public square located in the heart of Lisbon. The square is surrounded by beautiful yellow buildings that were once government offices and are now home to various restaurants, cafes and shops. The centerpiece of the square is a large status of King José I, who reigned during the construction of the square in the 18th century. 
from here, you're only a five-minute ride away from the Monument to Discoveries, another famous monument in Lisbon. The Monument to Discoveries comprises a group of sculptures representing the Pau of Acrabo, a small sailing ship constructed by Portuguese to explore the Atlantic Ocean. Leading the ship is Prince Henry, the navigator, and behind him are many other great Portuguese discoverers. On your left side on the river, you see the famous 25 de April Bridge, often compared to Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco due to its similar design and color scheme. The bridge is a vital transportation link between Lisbon and the surrounding area, with approximately 200,000 vehicles crossing it every day. Right on the other side of the street, behind a beautiful park, you'll find Geronimo Monastery, another UNESCO World Heritage Site in Lisbon. It was built in the 16th century during the reign of King Manuel I of Portugal as a tribute to Portugal's prosperity and dominance during the Age of Discovery. From here, you have the options to select a mode of transportation from the available list to reach another scenic spot in the city named Miradora de Santa Lucia. It is located in the Alfama district of Lisbon, one of the city's oldest and most picturesque areas. This scenic spot is situated near the Santa Lucia church, and visitors can see the red-tiled rooftops of Alfama and the riverfront from here. It's also a good place to see the famous blue tiles of Portugal. To relax and enjoy your evening after a long day, do not forget to reserve your seat for a Fado music. Fado is a traditional music genre that originated in Portugal and is considered the country's national music. It is characterized by mournful melodies, often accompanied by Portuguese guitar and a classic guitar. Lisbon is a big and historic city and it has a lot to offer. Besides the attractions that we visited, there are a lot that we missed, like Sanctuary of Christ the King. A majestic statue representing the image of Christ outstretching his arms toward the city. It's visible from any point in the capital city and has a great panoramic location. The perfect place to photograph the city from above. Blem Tower, an imposing medieval defensive tower on the northern bank of River Tagus and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Instead, we took a one-day trip to Sintra and visited Pena Palace. We also drove back by Atlantic Ocean and passed by Kashkash, a charming coastline town known for its beautiful beaches, historic architecture and lively cultural scene. 
We have a separate video on Sintra that you can watch for more information and travel tips. Thank you for watching, hope that you enjoyed it. As usual, please share and like it if you found it useful. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for future videos like this. See you in the next one!